Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in again. In this video I will be working at the wood lathe again. It's so fun to do. Here at the right view you can see the shavings I'm making. Do you think I'm doing a good job or not? Let me know in the comments down below. Okay, now that I've rough turned the wood, I can start turning the balloon. It's still pretty hard for me to do some wood turning, but I'm enjoying it very much. I'll finish it with some CA glue. In between the coats of CA glue, I'm wet sanding with grit 1200. Now the balloon is ready and I can part it off. Now I'm making a small bucket to go underneath the balloon. I'm cutting at a 45 degree miter and I'm cutting at an angle, so it's a bit tapered. My bucket was a bit too high, so I cut a small piece off. I'm gluing the bucket together and I'm using painter's tape as clamps. I have some rough pencil marks, so I'm sanding them away. I've attached this thin piece to a thicker board so I can plane it easily and safely. This will be the bottom of the bucket. If you want that it fits really perfectly, you can tilt your bandsaw table a bit. But I did not do that. Now it's time to drill some really small holes for the wiring in the balloon and in the bucket. I'm using a hollow form to stabilize the balloon while drilling. Sand the edges of the bucket smooth. Here you can see the hardware I will be using to hang the balloon. For the base, I was also cutting at an angle, like the bucket. 
first I'm cutting it into a square. Then I was cutting at a 45 degree angle to cut off the corners. I'm attaching it with double sided tape to my workbench so I can sand it easily. Now it's time to chamfer the edges. Okay, here my battery died, so a reconstruction without the table saw on. Here I'm making the pole on which I will be attaching the hot air balloon. Sand away all the bandsaw marks at the oscillating spindle sander. Drill a small hole for the hook. Now it's time to determine the place of the pole on the base. I only attached it with wood screws, no glue this time. Finish with a few coats of spray lacquer. To attach the wiring, I'm using CA glue. It works really well. 